Hi everyone, my name's Teresa. I work at the Diamond Valley Library and we're going to have our first science club online. So I've got two activities uh, for you to have a go at today. So hopefully lots of learning and also lots of fun. Okay, so the first experiment we're going to have a look at is called the tie-dye milk. So I'll go through the things that you need. So you'll need um, a plate, plastic plate's fine, or you can use one of your um, ceramic plates, uh, anything, as long as it's not a very deep one. You need it to be reasonably shallow. Um, you also need a small cup because we need to mix a few ingredients together. You'll need some milk and some dishwashing liquid, some cotton sticks, okay, so get those, and also some food colouring. Okay, so I've got green, red, blue, and yellow. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is with the milk, we just need to pop into the plate. Okay, now don't make it too deep. Okay, you just need enough to cover the bottom and maybe just a little bit more. Okay, so then with our cup here, what we're going to do is we're going to mix um, 15 uh, ml or a tablespoon of water. I'll just pop that in there, like so. So that's the water. And then the next one we're going to add is our dishwashing detergent. Um, now the experiment does say that some dishwashing liquids do work better than others. Um, so again, this is science. Use what you've got and um, just see how your results come, come out at the um, end of the, the um, activity. Okay, so now I'm just reading here, we need to add uh, a teaspoon or five mil uh, of dish, dishwashing detergent into the water, like so. going to use one of these just to scoop it all in. Okay, and give it a bit of a mix. Okay. All right, that's that. Now, next step with the milk, this is where you get your food colouring dye. And just pop a drop in different spots across the milk. Okay, that's a little bit of red. Again, just a few drops. A bit of blue. Now, it doesn't matter if you're using um, skinny milk or just regular milk. Um, if you have both, maybe you can try using both to see if there's any different um, outcomes. All right, so what we've done now is we've got our milk sorted, we've got our food colouring in, we've got our mixture of water and detergent. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to get one of the little cotton buds, we're going to pop it in the mixture, and then we're just going to tap the different colours Ooh, of the food colouring that we have in there. Um, you may also see that it's the tips changing colour. Now that one didn't work as good, so I'm going to dip that back in there and try a different colour. Wow. Okay. So you can have some fun creating all different patterns. You may need a few cotton sticks, depending on uh, cotton buds, how many you decide to, to use. Um, I've got some great um, coloured patterns happening here, but because it's liquid, I can't show you. Um, so 
have some fun with that. Uh, see how many different colours you can create by mixing all the different colours together. So you've got your primary colours, um, create some secondary colours and just see what you come up with. But um, it does look very, very pretty, I must say. So you can have lots of fun with that one. So I'll just pop that over there out of the way. So that's the, that's the first activity. So that's a nice quick one. Okay, now the second one we're going to do for this one, what you're going to need is some shaving cream, okay? You're also going to need to use your food colouring again and you're going to need some sandwich bags or Ziploc bags, okay? So three. You may want to use more. That's entirely up to you. So we'll go with three to start with, okay? Um, you will need some um, paper. So I've just been using recycled paper. If you've got a scrapbook, if you've got a drawing book, you can use that as well. Um, you can use either um, the small cotton sticks or a small thin paintbrush is also recommended. Okay, so this one's a lot, a lot of fun. It's also rather messy. So, okay, uh, what we'll do first is in each of the bags, like so, just a bit of a shake, and then you're just going to squirt in some shaving cream. Okay, that's the first one. The second one. So, shaving cream done. Now, um, you'll need your food colouring. So, you can um, make up the different colours. So, you'll need to put in one bag three drops of food colouring and three drops of blue. Now, some of you might already have worked out that when these mix together, they make a different colour. So that's the first bag done. Another bag, let's grab this one. We're going to put three drops of blue and three drops of yellow. So that's the second one. And the third one, we're going to put three drops of red and three drops of yellow. Okay, now I suggest that the food colouring is moved out of the way. So what you need to do now is make sure the bags are sealed, very important. And once they're sealed, what you're going to do is you're just going to press around in the shaving cream and mix all the colours. You can mix them in really well if you want to, or you can see here, it's got a few different shades in there for different colours. So that'll do for that one. And that'll do our second bag. Again, make sure they're sealed properly. And off you go again, giving them a really good mix. You can see all the different colours changing as you mix it around, different shades, got some light blues in there, a bit of purple, okay, so that's the third, second one, now the third one, let's get a nice 
and tight. And it looks like our last one. Again, you can mix it all in so it's completely mixed with the, the two different food colours and the shaving cream, or you can just mix it a little bit so you've got some different shades. So I've got different greens in there, some purple, a bit of blue, a bit of yellow, and a bit of orange. Okay. Now, the next step is to get your piece of paper and your paintbrush. And it might help to put some um, water or you might be quite happy instead of rinsing your brush to mix the colours together and see what other colours you come up with. Then it's just a matter of popping your paintbrush in and painting your picture. Uh, it doesn't take that long to dry, so that, that's good. So I've used a bit of the green. I'll just do a few shapes on here. Oh, this one looks good. A bit of purple. three shapes for three different colours and I did this one earlier and that, it didn't take too long to dry so you can have lots of fun with that one um, now once you've mixed it all together like I said you can do different shades and create your beautiful artwork um, if you've got um, a, a reasonably big piece of paper you might want to do some um, creative artwork on there and use it for wrapping paper for a present uh, for mum or dad or grandparents um, when it's their birthday. You can use that. Uh, so that's a great way of recycling as well. Um, and that's pretty much it for that activity as well. Um, so good luck. Have fun. Um, Try other colour combinations with your food colouring. You don't have to use the ones that I've said. You can use different, um, different ones as well. And create, be artistic. Um, and we will see you again next Tuesday uh, with another uh, science activity. Thanks, bye.